this video, I'm going to show you how to answer linear programming questions based on the 2023 grade 12 mathematics paper 2 question 9 for internal candidates. So the question reads, answer the whole of this question on the sheet of graph paper. A man intends to buy goats and cows for sale. He decides to buy not more than 50 goats and not more than 40 cows. He plans to buy at least 60 animals altogether. But A, given that X represents the number of goats, all right, so what we are being told is that X is representing number of goats and Y the number of cows. Okay, so Y is representing the number of cows. Write three inequalities which represent these conditions. So they want you to write three inequalities that represent these conditions that you've been given in this question. All right, so since X is for the number of goats and the information that we've been given is a man intends to buy goats and cows for sale. He decides to buy not more than 50 goats. So since X is for goats, it means we are going to say X not more than so meaning we're going to have the inequality x for goats and they are saying not more than 50 goats so it's x less or equal to 50 so this is the first inequality and this is uh, part a the first inequality is x is less or equal to 50 because we are being told that he decides to buy not more than 50 goats and not more than 40 cows why is for cows and the information that we are being given is that uh, this man decides to buy not more than 40 cows so again the second inequality is going to be okay why because y is for cows is less or equal to 40 because this man intends or decides to buy not more than 40 cows so the question continues and says he plans to buy at least 60 animals altogether. So the word at least in linear programming indicates greater or equal to. Okay? So the word at least in linear programming uh, indicates greater or equal to. So when they say he plans to buy at least 60 animals altogether, when they say altogether, it means the third inequality, you are going to add X and Y. Okay, so the third inequality is going to be X plus Y is greater or equal to 60 because they said he intends to buy at least 60 animals altogether. All right, so we have answered part A, and you would have gotten four marks. So part B is saying, using a scale of two centimeters to represent 10 animals on each axis. So meaning both on the X axis, you use the scale of 10 centimeters to represent 10 units. Draw the X and Y axis for the values of X from 0 to 80, and also the values of Y from 0 to 80 respectively and shade the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution of the inequality lies. Okay, so what you have to know is that uh, this big box, okay, the distance from here to this other corner is 2 centimeters. Again, from here to this other corner is 2 centimeters. It's also the same in the, in the vertical axis from here to there is two centimeters from here to there two centimeters so they want you to use the scale of two centimeters which is the big box or the big length to represent in 10 animals on both axes so what you do is you come to so you can see that this is the last corner so you come here okay you come here and place it as the origin zero so we have been told that in the x-axis we should have 10 animals for each two centimeters so we're going to have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 because they said from 0 to 80 again in the y-axis you are going to have 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 
70 80 like this so what is needed now is just to draw the axis so you draw the axis like this with a ruler you draw the axis like this again like this with a ruler so you label this as y and this as x all right so they want you to plot these inequalities on these axes and shade the unwanted region so the first inequality is this one x is less or equal to 50. so since it's we're dealing with x so you go where x is equal to 50 on the x axis so x is equal to 50 is here so you draw a vertical line you draw a vertical line like this on x is equal to 50 like this so you label this as x is less or equal to 50. so as you go to the left the x values or the x coordinates decrease but as you go to the right the x values increase so since we have x is less or equal to 50 so the less part is this side okay this is the less part so we are going to shade the opposite of less or equal to which is the greater or equal to so the greater is this so we shade the opposite this is the unwanted region shade it nicely like this all right so you are done plotting and shading this first inequality you come to this second one the second one is y is less or equal to 40 so because you are dealing with y you go on the y axis where there is 40 so you draw a horizontal line you draw a horizontal line like this and also indicate that this is y is less or equal to 40 all right now when you go when you are going up the y values increase and when you are going down the y values decrease so since we have y is less or equal to 40 the less part is da the down part so we shared the opposite we shared the greater part so this is the unwanted region this is the unwanted region so we shared the greater part like that all right the next inequality that we are going to plot is this one so for us to plot this one we are going to assume that where there is greater or equal to symbol here there is an equal sign so meaning we are going to have x plus y is equal to 60. so this is just an assumption after this assumption draw a table of values okay you have x and y then in the first place assume that x is zero so if x is zero it means here you are going to put zero if you put x as zero here then it means that you have zero plus y is equal to 60 solving this you have y as 60. so since in the first instance you assumed that x is zero in the second instance you are going to assume that y is the one that is now zero so if where there is y you put zero here it means you have x plus zero is equal to 60 solving you have x being equal to 60 okay so we are going to use these two points to draw a line then shade the unwanted region so we have 0 comma 60 so we have in the x 0 comma the y coordinate is 60 is here also we have 60 comma 0 so the x value the x coordinate is 60 the x coordinate is 60 and the y coordinate as zero so it's 60 comma zero is just here so after that you just join this 60 from the x axis and the 60 in the y axis you just join them like this so label this line as x plus y is greater or equal to 60 so this line is x plus y is greater or equal to 60 all right now since you have the greater or equal to symbol here the greater part is this one as you are going this way the less part is this so we shade 
the opposite of greater or equal to so the less part is this one shed this one the less part the opposite you shed the opposite like this all right you can now see that this is the region r where the solution lies so by indicating this region r like this you would have earned yourself four marks all right but c says the profit on the sale of a goat is 100 kwacha and on a cow profit is 800 kwacha how many animals of each type should he buy to make the maximum profit all right so for you to find the maximum profit you are supposed to first determine the coordinates of the points where the lines that are bounding this region are crossing so we have this point here so it determine the point the coordinates here so the coordinates are 50 comma 50 comma 40 so we have 50 comma 40 and then the coordinates here are 20 comma 40 so we have 20 comma 40 and then here the coordinates are 50 comma 10 so 50 comma 10 so after doing this remember this is part c okay so since they are saying the profit on the sale of a goat is 100 kwacha so a goat remember a goat is represented by the letter x so you're going to say 100 x 100 x 100 goats okay plus and on a cow profit is 800 a cow is represented by the letter y so we're going to say 800 y is equal to so what we've formed here is called the objective function so this objective function is going to help us to determine how many animals of each type is required to make the maximum profit so we're going to do that by getting collecting these points that we 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 came up with in the first place so here the x value is 50 so meaning in the equation we are going to have 100 times 50 plus we are saying 50 because 50 is for x which is uh, the gods plus 800 times the y coordinate here for the gods i mean for the cows is 40 40 then you get your calculator and punch everything so we have 100 times 50 plus 800 times 40 is equal to 37,000 kwacha so this is 37,000 kwacha now we need to test all the points all the points that are bounding uh, this region to see which one is going to give us the highest uh, amount in kwacha so let's also use the same objective function and plug these points here okay so we are going to have 100 100 the x here is 20 so 100 times 20 plus uh, 800 times the y value the y coordinate here is 40 y coordinate which is uh, the cows is 40 you also do the same you say 100 times 20 plus 800 times 40 so this is giving us 34000 so here we are having 34000 kwacha when we have 20 goats and 40 cows and then this one when we had 50 goats and 40 cows we got 37000 kwacha all right so we need to test this last point here so we have the x value the x coordinate as 50 and y coordinate as 10 so we're going to have 100 times 50 plus 800 times 10 get your calculator again 100 times 50 
plus 800 times 10. We have 13,000. So 13,000 kwacha. So when you compare this, this and this, you can see that this is the highest amount, which is 37,000 kwacha, when the goats were 50 and cows were 40. So we are going to conclude and say, therefore, he must buy 50 goats and 40 cows to have the maximum profit. This is how you answer this question. You just pick these points, okay? And form the objective function like this. All right, this was C. Then D is saying, what is the maximum profit? Okay, so the maximum profit, you just come and get this one here, 37,000 kwacha. Okay, so the maximum profit is the 37,000 kwacha. So you're going to say, okay, this is D. The maximum profit is 37,000 kwacha. All right, so this is how you answer these questions on linear programming. So just in summary, the word at least in linear programming means greater or equal to. Then the word not more than means less or equal to. Then the word all together means you need to add. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe. Hit the like button, comment and share.